Hello guys, it is me, Joe, and in the last episode I said we were going to go down this well, and now we shall, and Vivian's whole body went weird there, I don't know why. But, regardless, let's progress on. And this is the room where being attacked, like being hit, might be inevitable, but yes. <laughs> but yes. Well, it wasn't inevitable, but me being a doofus that I am, I got myself hit anyway. So let's use our invincibility frames and get back up. Well, in progress, I mean. So this door, what happens is when you press it up, when you push it up, I should say, all the way to the top and you leave it alone, it slides back down. So what you want to do is after you push it up, you want to sink into the ground so it goes past you. That's a simple puzzle and this right here, like, it would have been interesting if they made it so you had to turn into a tube to go in there. But obviously it's blocked off, you know? So they give us another shine sprite. How many do I have? I know I have a lot. Yeah, 11. Yeah, when I get back to Rogueport, I'm actually going to get an upgrade for Yoshi and probably Vivian. I think it... Actually, I think I can get more upgrades because I think it takes three shine sprites to get an upgrade. It could be six or five or something, but I don't know. So over here, I think we have a... I think there's actually a star piece, yeah, star piece over here. I don't know how I remembered that. Like for some reason, right when I got into this room, I'm like, oh, there's a star piece in here, and there was. So you come in this room that's locked from this side, and you get a key from one of these chests, I think. Um, power plus. We actually really want that. The letter, <laughs> you got the letter P. A letter needed to get Mario's name and body back. So his name has a P in it, and I, like, I'll be honest, I actually had to look up a walkthrough on this, like, when I was way younger, like, the first time I played this, I had no idea why, like, I could not figure it out. What you want to do is you want to go up to this bird, but when you talk to him, he says, good morning, good morning, and what you want to do is you want to go underground, and the bird will start talking. What happened to the weirdos who were just here? And what he says will become very important. So, he's just talking about how no one knows what his real name is. And he's about to say it right here. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? So his name is Dupless. Dopless. No, it's Dupless. I think it's Dupless. Come back up. Squawk? What? Pretty bird, pretty bird. I am a pretty bird. How much is this? Because, I mean, the power plus is six. I totally forgot that you got a power plus in, like, in this chapter, so... I don't know if I want to take the defend plus off. Like, I might. Well, what I'll do is, my next um, level, I'll get HP. So I won't be as paranoid to take damage, even though it's only five. And I know it requires six, so I'll have to take off another thing, which... Damage dodge, I'm not taking that off, because that's very good. Happy heart, I could take away. I don't know how useful it actually is. So I might take happy heart and... Um, defense plus off. And put the power plus on. Because, to be honest, I'd rather have plus one power than... Plus one defense. That might be totally backwards, but like that might be totally backwards from a, for, uh, from what any normal person would do. But I'm not a normal person, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do probably, depending on how useful the defense seems to be. Like I know it's only plus one defense and plus one attack, but that attack at like can do a lot. Like, it just stacks. Like, if you think about it, the power is more, like, is better to have than, than defense. You just gotta think about it and you'll remember why. <laughs> I, not remember, you'll know why. I totally forgot what I was doing there, which is why I was, like, wandering around. So what we have to do is backtrack for, like, what is it, the fourth time, third time? 
which is why this chapter is probably one of the more tedious in the game. Because you're going through the, like, you're covering the same ground over and over again, and it gets really old, especially when there's all these enemies. How many star points do I have? 31. You know what, I'm actually going to fight one of these guys because I should be fighting more enemies. Like, I don't do that enough. And Vivian will not be able to hurt the rock guy, so I might as well um, have Vivian go first, and you'll see why I'm doing this. Vivian will go first, and then Mario will have another turn, I believe. At least, I hope he does. Yeah, Mario will have another turn. So I'm going to do a Power Smash. Which I know is not required, but it will be doing more damage, and I think it will kill him. No. And dodge that. Out. Vivian, no. I, I'll never get lucky with those. Ooh, yes. He's dead. Thank you, Vivian, you're a lifesaver. That should give us, like, a lot more star points. Not really. Seven star points from two enemies is actually very good. Especially when they're dropping coins like that. There is a badge later in the game that you can get. Or I think you can get it earlier. I don't remember, but... I think it's called Item Hog or something. And it gives you more items per enemy death. Something like that. I don't exactly remember. So let's go over here before this guy... Like, stops being a doofus and... Comes after us because it looked like he was just glitched on the tree or something <laughs> looked weird actually so now that we knew know his name I knew his name all along obviously um, we're actually gonna go over here and I remember when I first found that out I'm like wait can't you just enter his name the first time you find him then and I'm like wait no you can't do that because the letter P is missing and I don't think I mentioned this, but um, if you try to battle him, he is invincible, so your attacks will do nothing. Nothing will actually hurt him. So what you have to do is you have to um, say his name, and it'll like... Like... <laughs> like, I think it's supposed to be implied that there's like a magic shield over him or something. Okay, where's a P? It can't be all caps either, it has to be like all... Like, the first letter has to be a capital D, I think. Okay. Dupless. Dopless. Done. Yes. And he'll be like, what? How did you know? What did you just say? Mario's pixelated face. <laughs> Looks funny. It can't be. No, you know my name. How? A little birdie told me. That's really funny. A little birdie told me, man. And now look what you have to do. He runs to his castle. And now we have to go back and get him again. It's like, are you serious, Nintendo? This is like the five... Like, at least the fifth time we've done this. Like, ever since the chapter started. It's like the fifth or sixth time. This is why this gets really tedious. But the thing is, if I cut this... Like, if I cut both the chips out... This video would have been... Like, the chapter would be so... Shortened, like... I'm not even making sense right now. But the chapter would be, like, so reduced that there'd be... Like, you could probably... Like, you would probably only see, like, a couple minutes. Because it just... It takes, like, three or four minutes just to get back. So it'd be, like, eight minutes right there. Just getting out of everything. So I'm gonna do a power smash on you. I know I'm running out of FP. And I know that was not the smartest idea because he was already dead. Like, he didn't have that much HP. And I don't have to press A for those, which is funny. Because <clears throat> I have to the defense. But he's probably going to run away. Let's see what he does. Okay. I think those guys, when they actually decide to attack, they have the their songs. They're like Pretty much a Jigglypuff, where they always sing, and then they just cause you to sleep, but it's so annoying because you can never attack. These guys, I think it's only the golden ones that do that, now that I think about it. I don't think it's the golden ones, like, I think the golden ones actually do it a lot more. But, when they put you to sleep, and, like, 
<clears throat> if there's like three of the flowers and if they pu end up putting you to sleep, then you're screwed. You're probably going to die or lose more than half your HP. Or lose all of it. <laughs> yeah, go down the hole. I got confused there for a second. I don't know why. Oh my god. Is there a... Do we even have ten coins? Let me see. I'm um, six. Dang it. I don't know if that refills FP, but I'm actually going to use the golden leaf. Not turtley leaf. I went back into the recording and I realized that I call it a turtley leaf when it's a golden leaf. And I'm going to use the... Wait, 50? I don't remember when I got a jam and jelly, but apparently I did. So we just restored 15 HP. I mean, FP there. Gives us 18 FP. That's nice. That should be enough to fight the boss. I'm not sure. So what I'm doing now is now we have to go back up to the to his room. And see what I mean by it being so tedious. Wait. Yeah, tedious. I just cut myself off because I was wondering if I could go back and get the thing. Do I have hammer throw? How is Quake Hammer going to do anything? Anyway, I'm not going to waste my FP on these guys. Um, usually you would want to have hammer throw to sort those guys out, and I almost actually missed that. I rarely miss the action command for that, like the running command. Let me see if it gives me another one. Yeah, it gave me another one. I think what you can actually do is you can grind out this. Wait, how much is my max? Isn't it 20? Yeah, I was about to use it. I'm like, Joe, don't use it. For some reason, I thought my max FP was like 30 or 25, which is why I was originally about to use it. So, as I was saying, what I think you can actually do is you can keep on going out and in the creepy steeple and you can keep on collecting that for the turtley leaf I think you can anyway or or like it respawns after a certain amount of time I'm not sure you can actually sell those too like different shops within the game will have different prices and there's an item called the whack -a bump which is actually in the first game and on the train level if you try to sell it on the train level the toad gives you 100 coins per each, and that's how I pretty much get my money in the game. But that'll be way later because we have to go to like Key Hall Island, whatever it's called. It's, it's Key Hall or something. I want to say like Key Hall Key. I don't know why. It's Key Hall something. Hey, you again. <laughs> Slick. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Alright, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. <laughs> Woohoo, it's me! Sure thing, Mario. Do these guys, like, not realize that he's not the real Mario by now? Like, his pose, his posture, his everything is totally messed up. Mario, the guy who stole your name and body is Mario. That means you're Mario? Yes, I am the Mario. I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. And look what happens. She leaves the fight. But now we're lonely. Well, that's too bad. This guy is not going to do that much damage to me anyway because I don't think his power is based off of what we had. I think it's just like a set amount. Like he only has like a couple attack. Six. It's actually very nice. Yeah, see, I think it's only like one. Ah, you did no damage. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to go after Mario, because if you go after his partners, um, he just keeps on sending them out, but if you kill Mario, the fight is already over, at least I think it is. And I got, and I'm dizzy, god dang it. <laughs> I'm not going to do an attack that costs FP just on the off chance that I miss. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. What? Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Yay! Permanent partner. I've, I've made my choice. She's not turning back. She's our permanent partner. GG, yes. Bam! Okay, that is why I did not use my super move. Well, super power smash, whatever you want to call it. Bam! We just hurt... We just 
killed Mario with fire. We're about to kill him with fire. No, I don't need that anyway. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Goombella, you're fighting on the opposite side of the screen. Don't you notice that's the enemy? Because only the enemy fights on the freaking right side of the screen. No. Bam. No, stop missing Mario. Okay, Shade Fist. This might kill him. Let me see. Kill him? No. I don't know if his HP is reflected on us, but he might have a set amount of HP. It might be reflected on us. I don't know. Okay, watch this. He should be dead now. You are dead. No? Okay. Maybe his HP... No. It can't be, because if his HP was reflected on my HP, then he would have been dead already a long time ago. <clears throat> if you want to grind up star points, I think you can go after the partners and they drop a lot of star points. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? Okay, like, the... The real Mario would not say that. Goombella, you gotta have, like, common sense. And know that it's not Mario. Yeah, the happy heart is definitely not really worth it. So I'm definitely gonna turn that off if I get the required FP. Not FP, the BP. And then I will be able to actually, like, get the power. And he is dead. Dupless is dead. No, why, how? Hey, you can't faint like Mario does. That's not... That's only for us. 22 star points, GG, that's nice. That's only for us. Only Mario can do that death animation. Huh? <laughs> it is at that moment that they realize they have effed up. Now, I should put that right there like that picture or whatever <laughs> he just like commits suicide and jumps out the window I know he doesn't commit suicide but whatever I mean wait that, what the heck is going on here did we just get shell winked what how could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another so who's that this girl isn't she one of the shadow sirens why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps no one knows well I uh you see, I have a crush on Mario, and I came here, and now this is how it ends up. I'm fighting with Mario. Listen, Mario. Yeah, li listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd love to travel with you. Vivian has really joined your party now. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not really surprised that, like, she's permanently in the party because I would not expect Nintendo to like give a character her own movesets and all that and just leave the game and never be seen again. Like that just wouldn't be right. She's probably one of the more favorited characters by everyone, like everyone who actually plays the game. But what about Beldum and the others? Well, they're stupid and no one cares. Let's... No. I actually don't want to save because I forgot to back up my save before recording, so if I do, like, if something happens and if I do mess up, then I'm gonna have to do a lot and a lot of work just to get back to where I was. So I'm not saving just on the off chance of that happening, which is probably good, probably bad on my part, but I just want to play it safe here. And yeah, are you sure about this? Speak up, x not <laughs> Okay. Me with clipboard in hand. I am the clipboard. I am the glasses. I am the scepter. I am the blue or ball thing with an X inside of it. It's like just because you like just because you're the X knot doesn't mean you have to have an X inside every part of your body. Like there's an X on the shirt, whatever it is. There's an X in the brain, there's an X in the orb. X in the brain, okay. Oh, we didn't we didn't even have to walk this time. That's good to know, I guess. What shall I do today? Will it be dancing perhaps? Disguising? One of these is very tedious. I think it is this one. Is it this one or the next one? 
I hope it's the next one because I'm not ready if it is this one. Like, I seriously am not ready. Like, I need to actually... I need to have my phone if this is the one. And my phone's like all the way on the other side of my room, but my and my room's not big anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just quickly go get it. It's charging right now. I don't even think it has that much battery battery left. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. These are common like these questions are just common sense, so don't worry, it's not like really tough. What will happen if you collect all seven stars? Thousand year door opens. Like it's just common questions, like common sense. What is the goal of Sir, Sir Grotus? To become a superhero? Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just really stupid questions. What is the legendary treasure that hides behind the door? No one knows. Please answer. What is the legendary treasure that awaits? An extremely, yeah. Well, they're. They don't want you to know, but, um, well, actually, what they're doing, wait, what does it say? What does Sir Gross wish to do with this, um, bring the demon back to life? What Tech is actually doing here is he's giving away information without intent, like, without Peach knowing if that makes sense. Because Tech is not supposed to just, like, give out information, so he's asking Peach in these questions. What is required to Crystal Star as a magical spell? I should have actually said that from the beginning, but... <clears throat> yeah, Tech is giving us... Like, he's telling us information about the... The door and all that without us knowing if that makes sense. Like, he's just telling us in questions. I was saying something earlier, but... What was I even saying? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest. But yeah, he was giving us information. That's all that you really need to know. You're still a weird computer tech. Kind of weird, since Sir Grotus, like, program tech, you'd think that he would be all evil and stuff, but okay. Si no. God dang it. <clears throat> I hope I didn't mess up then. Well, if I did, then... Oh well, I'll just have to do everything again, but I was pressing A too fast. With a blimp. Oh, is this the one where I'm playing in like a little... The other game, the other little game. Let's ride the cheap blimp. The Yeah, the cheap blimp. What is this? You there, two tickets. One great and evil king. Wait, what? <laughs> Bowser, the evil king. As I tremble in my place. I'm stretching. Why do I always have to stretch? <laughs> Bowser is gone. I'm talking to myself. Where'd Bowser go? And here he comes. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, that was late. I don't care. A Koopa Clown car. I think that's the first time we've... No, that's not the first time we've seen it. That's like the second time, isn't it? Second or third? It's either one of those two. Apparently, um, she locks. Um, pff, can't talk. She loses her broomstick, or whatever, for spinning around. I don't really know how that works. So as Bowser majestically flies to the Glitz Pit, he suddenly realizes that his Koopa Clown car dies on him for whatever reason. It's out of gas, or it's just broken. <clears throat> <clears throat> and then Bowser falls into the ocean, never to be seen again. And my voice is being stupid. Ready to roll. Yay, World 2-1 from Super Mario. Bam. Oh, wait. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. No. Wait, what are you doing? You're not supposed to go all the way down. That's not how bloopers work. Hey, is there like a piece of meat in this block here? Yes, there is. Like I said in one of the other parts, I think if you get two of them, you become invincible, and I don't think that even wears off either. It's either two or three, yeah, it's two. I don't think this wears off. I it might, I don't know. 
I don't know why this makes Bowser invincible, like he can break through everything, but apparently he does. Oh yeah, it does wear off. The only downside is, I'm very slow. Like, you're very slow when you're Giant Bowser. Whoa, I thought I was gonna break through- Whoa. Really? Goomba? I thought I was gonna break through the ground if I stepped on that, which is why I didn't want to. So we won! You have finished! 2-1 from Super Mario World, yes! <clears throat> so that did not take long at all, and then we're just in Rogueport. Heck, oh, that's you! Bowser is sick. Now, apparently, he's gotten in a cold. Someone help! GG. Okay. There's no way you could have gotten a glitz pit and done all that in that short amount of time, but okay. Swimming. Really neat. It's for me, glitz feels fantastic. The fights were so cool. How did you manage to watch a fight, get balloons, and get a rock hog thing on your head in the short amount of time that I was in the water? <clears throat> I know it's implied that I've been down there for a while, but still, it's so weird. Fine, let's save our the progress, because why not? We've already goofed up, I guess you can say that. Bowser heads. The mayor, like, it still looks like... I think that's supposed to be his hair, but it's still... Wait, what? I'm so sorry after all that you've done. Did we hurt your feelings? No, nah, not really. <laughs> You're a bigger man than I thought. Such... Okay. Fortitude. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. I'm going to end this video off, so I'm going to go to the save point right here. And in the next episode, we will continue to go on our quest, and we will start that by going to the Thousand Year Door and seeing what we need to do there. So that will be in the next episode. See you later, and goodbye.